Okay. So you guys, first, whew, happy Revolution Day, I guess. Happy Insurrection Day. I don't know. This Insurrection. Is Insurrection. Yeah. And I'm wearing my Kamala Harris shirt. I've been absorbing her Mamala energy all day. <laughs> um, so yeah, we, um, instead of meeting tonight, because of course channeling requires that I'm able to be the conduit. Um, and it's so interesting, the um, librarians all week have been like giving me lessons about what they want our lesson to be. And um, it's been about like how to play uh, mandala lines of energy, you know, connect lines of energetic connection like you're playing a musical instrument. And they taught me the techniques of playing it like a guitar, like a string instrument, and also playing it like um, blowing through it. And so it's really, really cool. And, um, and it's about sending energy out as well as connecting through the mandala to like other star systems and bringing that energy to you or it's a, amazing process and like I said they've only been teaching me for like a week so I'm like <laughs> I couldn't even like I wouldn't even like I just shared with you all I could explain but they'll teach us so on Saturday they will teach us what's interesting is they told me um not to bother promoting about tonight's session and they also told me when we do this lesson, we're gonna open it up to the public, let anyone who wants come and join it. And I was like, that's a little like counterproductive. And they're like, no, 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 you're, you'll are you bring in, so many people will share this and it will send the energy through and everyone, but don't worry about promoting it. And I'm like, I, what? And then today they were like, yeah, we're not, you know, and I did try to promote tonight and Every, everything kept typoing. I would type things and like whole lot, and then the link would take you to somewhere else. Like everything was misfiring. And they're like, we told you not to promote it. And then, you know, later they're like, you understand now, you cannot do this tonight. Um, and at that point, they already had me doing other work, work they've been attuning me for, for a long time of sending their energy to others with all this stuff going on. So um, we are going to meet on Saturday. It will be a public event. So if you want to invite anyone, share, you know, it's the same link we had today. Go ahead and share it. Um, you know, it's um, going to be- time, Sorry, same time? Seven? Uh, yeah, 7 to 8.30 on Saturday. And uh, because four to five, I'm meeting with a variety of manifesting masters and we're live streaming where they'll do a panel of, I'll ask them questions on how they manifest. So um, Saturday will be powerful and they claim Saturday's energy is going to be a powerful day for this. So something will happen. I don't know. But excuse me. Mm -hmm. is, is your four to five class, is that the $75 one that we pay for or is that something different? No, the, um, that starts Sunday. Saturday oh. is a free live stream, the last one before that. Oh, so the manifesting classes start Sunday? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. But where, is there information on this somewhere? Um, yeah, um, I will email everyone about that again. Shame on me. It's uh, you uh, go to my website. Oh, it's and, on your website? Yeah. Okay. And you register there. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. No, that's great. It'll be the same as all the other programs. You know, there will be a Zoom link and we'll meet on Zoom and then I'll load the recordings. Oh, okay. Um, so, as Nazi had mentioned, everything that's happening today, I had been telling people starting last February was the first time I live streamed about all of this happening. And I did say that there will be rioting in the streets following, you know, at the election. Yep. Um, yeah, <laughs> yes, I remember a lot of people were really angry with me for speaking such negative things. And I did say the COVID 
you know, it's going to be so much worse than it was. But um, I also said that Biden has the potential to go down in history as the greatest president in the history of our country and that he will be working to unify the entire planet, which is what we want, right? Yes. We are, we're the planetary healers, so this will be good for us. Um, so the librarians have been like, today they've been flowing stuff through me and sending it out to a lot of stuff that's happening because they're grabbing timelines and pulling them the way they want them to help with a more healthy situation for humanity and the planet. Um, so it, it's been an unusual day for me. Like I haven't spent the day like doing other things. I've been doing our thing, but the work that they need me to do, it's a much more intense, like weighty energy. You guys would not like it. And there's no way for me to go from that energy to the sweeter, lighter, kinder energy that we work with. Um, so today, tomorrow, probably Thursday, I'm going to be flowing with a lot of um, Akashic energy for the purpose, well, their purpose of helping timelines like sending more energy to the healthier timelines so that we can get the planetary healing going. Um, and I got to tell you, like, this will sound weird or awful, but when I saw on the news that the Proud Boys and their friends were breaking into the House of Representatives, you know, our highest seat of American democracy and insulting it the way they did. I saw the pictures and the video footage of them swinging from balconies and, you know, climbing statues and sitting in Nancy Pelosi's Speaker of the House desk, taking selfies and shooting people. And um, like, everyone, I, me, I was very upset, very angry. But my side that is psychic, that, that sees the future, that works with the Akash, there, I was just kind of relieved because mm -hmm. since last yeah. February to now, I've been waiting for this moment. Yeah. And it's just like, thank God we finally got here. And I'm not alone knowing this moment is coming and seeing it. You know, seeing it like the way you see the outdoors when you open the door to your house to look outdoors. That's like, I have been seeing this since last February. It's definitely going to get rougher before it gets better, which is why the librarians are working with not just me, there's a lot of us. And, um, if you are called to invite them to flow energy through you, feel welcome to. Um, but what they're can working. We what, can hmm? we do? what can we do? Invite them to use your body with whatever you're able to support them with. Okay. Yeah. To use your energy and then meditate connect with them, open up, and invite them to flow what they can. Because each person is in a different frequency. And, you know, you might find that they send angels flowing through you or nature magic or whatever. But, you know, for me, it's very intense because they've been preparing me for this for, you know, a long time, <laughs> like yeah. this whole life. And um, not that my whole life is for this moment, but um, but it's um, after waiting so long for, since February to now for this moment to happen, now that it's here, 
I have to release the anxiety that I've had from February to now and just like be open to them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Makes sense, absolutely. Yeah. So, um, I think that our country will get through this well, but I think that you know, as we see, there's a huge percentage of our country that would rather have a very toxic environment. That's their comfort. You can think of this as a valuable lesson. Like if you want to make it a lesson for self, think about if you as an individual were this country because this country represents the spectrum of every state of being. And you know, they talk about having the devil and the angel on your shoulders. In many ways, that's what our country is going through. And when you think about all the times you would rather demean yourself than raise yourself up, understand what's happening in our country is those who would rather demean are rising up. when those who want a better situation are successful, we still need to heal that possibly 30, 50% of our country that would rather remain toxic. And the only way we can do that is by accepting how gracious we are. Not gracious like oh, I'm so gracious, I'll help you. Like, not Ponzi gracious, that every human being comes from grace. Just because we maybe feel a little more connected to our gracious state doesn't mean that they don't have the ability. Like, every person alive has the ability to be gracious and caring. Will they reach it in this life? I don't know. If they don't reach in this life, they'll definitely reach it after life. That's important to remember. But until we have all the people healed, the planet will not be healed. Since we want to heal the planet, each of us in our own way, find whatever little piece of total humanity healing we can muster. And don't worry about healing what you can't heal what doesn't resonate with you to heal you know when i sing i'm an alto so i do not try to sing soprano <laughs> i mean i try and then everyone who hears me says no you're an alto stick to that <laughs> so you know find whatever is in flow for you to heal is what you are best suited at this moment to heal and if you worry about the things that you're not in flow to heal, don't worry. Someone else will be. But the Akashic librarians, I mean, they have said, they. I have not seen anything to, in my visions, like I'm not talking about the research I do and, you know, all the reading I do, in my visions, I have not seen any step away from the amount of total global death that they predicted. And we're not close to that number yet. So as far as I'm concerned, either a lot of people are going to die in the next like half year or so, a lot, or there's going to be a huge global shift that will save this from happening. One way or another, a lot of toxic energy will dissipate. And a lot of loving energy will emerge. So those are the visions I'm getting. But because it's not a beautiful vision, I don't like going too much into detail for people. Um, and, and this death that is happening, it's not just from the COVID, right? Or is it? Majority of it is from COVID. And then I've seen it, COVID, global climate change, um, mm -hmm. 
refugees, a variety of disease, variety of disease. You know, right now you have all these refugees and homeless people crowded together in unhealthy environments, uh, drugs, murders, mass murders. Um, you know, I'm seeing all of it, but the COVID is a major player, mm. major player. And the numbers I'm seeing are much greater than what they keep telling me is a quarter of the world's population gone. Now, we know that the numbers we've been getting on COVID are not accurate. So hopefully when Biden is president, they'll dig around and start giving us accurate numbers for this year. Um, and a lot of other countries aren't giving accurate numbers, but even still, um, I hope that Biden will bring the planet together and we will not have this insurmountable level of death. But the librarian said, so long as people are out of harmony with the planet, you know, the, the planet will not die. It's going to be us. You know, there's no two ways around that. So that's why we want to get in harmony with the planet. But if um, if we don't get in harmony by purposeful action, we will get in harmony by having less people and all of our systems broken down and dysfunctional. So we have no choice but return to Earth. So what happened to those uh, creatures that gelatinous creatures that were supposed to come and <laughs> help us. Well, they're here. We're, they're oh. here, but if we're not open to them, they're just hanging out going, let me know when you're ready. <laughs> but they're trying. They're trying, you know. So it's up to just a few uh, people like uh, so-called ground crew who are so-called, you know, conscious to to raise the awareness of the entire collective no so that... no it's up to each person to try to be their best person like not everyone on the planet will suddenly go oh my god i see angels how did i not see them before like it's not going to be like that it's each person needs to get back into the the frequency of the planet of nature. You know, we need to return to having just love and caring in our hearts. And for each of us, that will be different. You know, for some people, they'll be like, no, I'm an atheist, but I'm into love. And for other people, it'll be this, it'll be that, you know, and, you know, it doesn't matter like what belief system you have or where the pure love in your heart takes you because everyone's on their own karmic path. But anyone who's in life right now, if they want to survive and thrive, it would be a good idea to just really start sharing love from a grounded, loving place. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and then go love on the Proud Boys because I don't love them. So I'm not going to do that. If there's someone who loves them, they can love them. But me, I can send my powerful love to you guys and to, um, you know, those I love, to nature, to the planet, to the mandalas, to my librarians, <laughs> help them with their work. So just... You remember the librarians talk about how all of our energy comes together as a symphony? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because each of us has a unique resonance and a unique focus that we connect to. Right. Yeah. They did talk about, so interesting last week, about alignment versus chaos. Mm -hmm. And I think they were sort of alluding to this. As last night I went outside, I felt a, a very eerie, spooky, energetic sense. 
Yes. Totally eerie. I, I came <laughs> inside. I was scared. I'm not the one to be scared of the dark or, you know, uh, but I felt it. It was thick. Yeah. Yeah, no, they were definitely last week trying to prepare you all for this week. When yeah. there's absolute chaos means there's a lot of energy out there that's a free-for-all energy. You can consume that energy and use it as you wish. Yes. Yes, yes. for either side. Whether you want to do bad things or good things, mm -hmm. this, this so-called, uh, what is it, uh, rainbow warrior and the air signs that we're going into and this unpredictability of Uranus and all those mm -hmm. combinations are are generating that energy. So you can use it either for good or you're not good. Absolutely, absolutely. So both ways. I just, I'm just glad to make that distinction that, or understanding to have that, that it could go both ways. It doesn't mean just because this combination of planets gives you energetic sense, mm -hmm. you know, that only good fairies are using it. <laughs> yeah. Now, I'll tell you, I am spending time today watching video footage of what's happening in D.C., absorbing that energy like I'm a bat rechargeable battery, absorbing that energy, and the librarians are taking it, and they're working with timelines. So all of that chaos that's happening in D.C. right now is giving me a lot of energy to feed the librarians with their work. Interesting. Yes. You do not yes. need to hide in fear from what's happening. When energy is kicked up, you are welcome to grab it and use it as you wish. Yes. Yeah. That's a very good point. Exactly. <laughs> so I'm going to get back to my work. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, Bonita. I hope to see night. you Saturday. Yes. Okay. A better Thank day. You. Good night, everyone. Take care. Good night. Bye.